Today I have a great example of how not to get healthy. Just follow the advice of a mainstream health magazine like Prevention. This is an example straight out of my bathroom shelf. I'll give you my commentary from the opening page and you decide if with good conscience you can support this kind of crap. This volume uh, here is a couple of years old. Uh, remember, I don't throw things away just because they're old, just like my medical therapies. Now on the cover, you can see it says you can flatten your belly in seven days. Okay, I have no problem with that. That's easy. You can also lose 15 pounds and 10 inches this month. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm for that, yo-yo dieting. There's foods that can specifically sh shrink your stomach. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of those. I eat those all the time. I think donuts is included. Okay, so let's open it up. A full page ad of Ellen DeGeneres. Now she's a healthy role model for women in general and especially for those that need uh, makeup. Now there's an ad here for a toxin containing makeup. Uh, page two and three is an ad from Sam's Club and it has photos of all the nice items that would be appropriate for someone practicing prevention. That's if you buy the lies. Special K cereals on here. That's an extruded cereal that uh, extruded cereals studies on rats show that rats eating the box actually live longer. Allie is a weight loss drug that's killed people through liver failure and the common side effect that strikes terror in anyone easily embarrassed, flattest with discharge. Splenda's on here, an artificial sugar when fed to rats makes them fatter and more likely to become diabetic. Slim Fast is on here, it's a chemical filled, highly processed sugar drink that's a poor choice for nutrition or for weight loss. Colgate toothpaste contains fluoride, which is a highly toxic chemical and it interferes with thyroid function and it otherwise poisons your body. Extra gum is on here, contains aspartame, which is a neurotoxin and causes people to gain weight and develop diabetes. Now other products on here are topical creams, synthetic vitamins, over-the-counter drugs, and processed foods, and they're all made in factories by big companies. And I'm sure the buildings where these are manufactured have numerous smokestacks protruding from the roofs. Not one of these items could be produced by an actual person. Then we go to ads for Vicks Formula 44. Not something I recommend because natural treatments for cold symptoms work better. Uh, pages five and six, are the table of contents. Pages seven and eight, there's an ad here for the drug Plavix. It talks about how Plavix saves lives in patients that have had a heart attack. And this is by making your platelets not function. Now the second page of the ad seems to indicate that it also takes lives and that's by increasing bleeding risk. Well, that makes sense. Since the function of platelets is to stop bleeding. Definitely not prevention, but obviously prevention doesn't mind. Now the next ad is for Eucerin Calming Body Wash. Now this wouldn't be my first choice as it contains butylated hydroxytoluene, which is accused of having toxic side effects or effects. Uh, next page has Tylenol Arthritis Pain Formula and that's containing acetaminophen, of course. Now, if you take acetaminophen every day for a condition like arthritis, it can destroy your liver. There is a natural supplement, N-acetylcysteine, that can prevent this, but unfortunately, the company that makes Tylenol and prevention don't bother to tell you. Uh, next is a ad from ConAgra Foods, featuring the popcorn tycoon Orville Redenbacher. Now, Orville died from a heart attack in his jacuzzi back in 1995. Now, this product is probably made from genetically modified corn, although when the company was asked if it contained GMO corn, it said it didn't know. That's not a good sign. Now, it's also made from processed oils from seeds that are probably genetically modified as well. Now, the ad hints that popcorn would be better for you than crackers, but I'd say probably not. Now, ConAgra is a corporation that has the distinction of being named 
by Multinational Monitor to the list of the top 100 corporate criminals of the 1990s. Now there's a, a few pages of articles here on how easy it is to have a flat abdomen and how it's a cinch to only lose belly fat uh, where you want to. I'll take it on faith that those are true. Uh, then we have an ad for reostasis eye drops, which the active ingredient has been shown to cause cancer in animals. Uh, that's a good drug to have in prevention. The next ad is for Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Hey, finally a product without toxic chemicals. Uh, next is an ad for our national parks by the National Parks Conservation Association. Charity Navigator rated it last of the five charities that support the national parks. The president makes a over $300,000 salary and who knows how many other perks. But because they advertise in prevention, I'm supposed to feel better about this charity and hope the ad helps it maintain its $40 million a year in, do, in uh, donations. Now the next ad here is three pages long. And I'm going to end on this one as this is all getting boring here. But if you're keeping score, we're now on page 30 of 168. This is a good one to end on because it really makes me crazy. But if we continue on through the magazine, it really doesn't get any better. Now, this ad, the text says, some people taking an antidepressant still have unresolved symptoms of depression. Duh, well, if you've seen my other video, you know that the studies show that antidepressants work about the same as placebo. So on it goes. It says, if you're one of them, talk to your doctor. Your options may include adding Abilify to the antidepressant you are already taking. So what are the side effects it takes two pages of fine print to cover? There's increased risk of death in the elderly and increased suicidal thoughts in the young. Now don't feel bad and don't feel left out if you're middle aged because everyone on Abilify has increased risk of neuroleptic malignant syndrome, which is sometimes fatal, and tardive dyskinesia, a movement disorder that can be permanent. But hey, it's worth the risk because it's so effective. Um, no. The study showed it was slightly better than placebo when the study design was heavily rigged in favor of Abilify. Even after the biased study design, the self-rated effect of the patients on Abilify was no better than placebo. But hey, I'm not going to stop you if you want to make your life miserable. A full 25% of the patients on Abilify reported acathesia, which is a severe restlessness and tension. Now, Bristol Myers Squibb, that's the company that makes Abilify, is a giant with plenty of money to grease the wheels of legislatures, researchers, the FDA, and the media. In my opinion, Prevention Magazine does a huge disservice to their readers that mistakenly go there to find ways to improve their health. Most of the readers don't realize they're being fed lies and half-truths in a majority of the ads and articles. I don't know if the executives realize the damage they do, but it reminds me of the warning in the Bible that Satan may be disguised as an angel of light. I mean, the magazine looks so healthy and cheerful. You need to choose what goes in and on your body. Don't let a faceless corporation decide, or a crappy magazine, especially one with no ethical standards. Before you buy a product, Look it up somewhere, like goodguide.com will give you information. If more of us would vote with our dollar, we'd get better access to products that keep us healthy. Cancel your subscription to the publications with de detrimental content. Or you can do like I do. Keep them around so you can see the latest strategy of the evil forces quest to harm our body for profit. Subscribe to our channel today and we'll give you more information like this. And tell your friends. This is Dr. Gerhauser. Thanks so much for watching.